welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve uh, this nice integral integral from 0 to 1 sine of x plus sine of 1 over x uh, times 1 over x dx okay how to begin well uh, first here we have 1 over x here also 1 over x so we can take u substitution 1 over x is equal to u it's mean uh, we can take uh, u sorry x is equal to x is equal to 1 over u now differentiate dx is equal to minus 1 over u square du now we can plug in here uh, now uh, lower limit when uh, x approaches to 0 we know u approaches to infinity uh, upper limit when x approaches to 1 u also approaches to 1 and here we have uh, sine of x we know 1 over u plus sine of 1 over x we know u times again 1 over x we know u times dx we know minus 1 over u square du now we know uh, this u this u get cancelled and uh, now we can write i is equal to now here minus sign so uh, we can change upper limit and lower limit when you change the limit this minus sign get cancelled so we have 1 to infinity now we know definite integral independent of the variable so instead of u now we can use x so here we have sine of x plus sine of 1 over x times 1 over x dx okay then uh, we can take uh, sum of uh, this integral so we have 2 times i is equal to now same function so uh, here 0 to 1 plus 1 to infinity now here we have uh, sine of x plus sine of 1 over x dx okay then mm, we know uh, here 0 to 1 1 to infinity so we can write integral from 0 to infinity sine of x plus sine of 1 over x sorry uh, here uh, 1 over x i forgot to write 1 over x dx so sine of x sine of 1 over x times 1 over x dx okay then uh, we can split this integral into two different integrals so 0 to infinity sine of x over x sine of x over x dx plus integral from 0 to infinity sine of 1 over x over x dx okay now uh, for this integral again we can take a substitution so i am going to take x is equal to 1 over t now differentiate dx is equal to minus 1 over t square dt so we can write uh, now i'm going to rewrite this integral 0 to infinity sine of x over x dx plus and now uh, here we know now uh, limit when x approaches to 0 we know here uh, infinity and when x approaches to infinity uh, here we know 0 now uh, sine of 1 over x we know 1 over x we know t over x we know 1 over t x 1 over t times dx we know minus 1 over t square dt now we know this t get cancelled uh, now we can write 2 times i is equal to integral from 0 to infinity sine of x over x plus now again we can uh, interchange this uh, limit 0 to infinity when we change limit this minus sign get cancelled so 0 to infinity now we have sine of t over t so we know definite integral independent of the variables so we can write sine of x over x so here dx and here also we have dx now we know 2 times i is equal to same integrals so 2 times uh, this integral so 2 get cancelled therefore i is equal to 0 to infinity sine of x over x dx 
okay uh, in previous videos uh, we evaluate this integral uh, so um, and also here we can evaluate this integral because it's very simple we can use mass identity so we can write 0 to infinity Laplace transform of sine of x times inverse Laplace transform of 1 over x 1 over x dx now we know Laplace transform of sine of x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x square 1 over 1 plus x square inverse Laplace transform of 1 over x we know 1 so here we have dx and we know this is equal to arc tan of arc tan of x from 0 to infinity when we apply limit we know this is equal to pi over 2 okay thank you for watching